Oh, where the hell can I type in chat? God damn it. Mute you, Matt. All right. What's up, everybody, man? How's everybody doing today? <laughs> going on today, Tony? Just chilling, Chrono. Just chilling, man. Chilling. Having a good old time. Having a good old time. How about you, Scott? How are you doing today, man? Good. How are you? Oh, Just chilling. Hell yeah. Me too, man. Me too. Vaping on some tasty e juice, man. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you know it. Whoo, man. This stuff is just blowing my mind. It's just unbelievable what all you can make, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. Shoot, we got a lot of people up in chat already, man. Cool Vapen, beans. Vapen Hicks says hello. <laughs> What's up? Clifton C Cockroft. What's Frank, up, man? Cock off. Let's say, hey, hey, daytime Frank in the house. In the house. Hell yeah. What's up, daytime Frank? Uh, Big Bud in the Bates. house. <laughs> Tam Vapes is in the house. Hell yeah. Big Bud in the house. Steve, oh, oh, oh. I oh, think oh. I saw him in your backyard again. <laughs> Smith is in the house. Hell yeah. Josh Vapes in the house. DIY time. Hell yeah, man. I heard that. You know. <laughs> Let's go. Daytime Frank says he finally got out of the house. Way to go, man. Way to go. Let's get my hand. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. He got out of the house. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Scott, you got a question from Bigfoot mm. in the chat. Well, the Sandstar, all you do is, <coughs> excuse me, you get the bottle of Sandstar and there's actually a, you squeeze it and there's like a measure on the top of it. All you do is put one ounce in for a gallon of water, mix that up in the warm water, and then just take your uh, e-liquid bottles and just put it right in there and let it soak for like 15, 20 minutes. The longer you let them soak, it just makes them cleaner. They smell just like a brand new fresh bottle and you don't even smell plastic. But that's all there is to it. I just bought a glass gallon jug from the store, just like you would get one of the big gallon jugs of pickles. That's what I use, because I use it for my home brewing also. Good answer. Hell yeah, man. Good answer. Oh, yeah. Oh, it yeah. actually through... Uh, Bull City now, they sell home brewing stuff. They're liable to have it in there even now. 
Uh oh, Miss Hippie's in the chat. Uh oh, uh oh. In the chat. My wife, y'all watch out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's Hippie's better half. Watch oh, your yeah. mouth. Watch oh, the language. Oh, oh hell, ain't no language barrier here. <laughs> <laughs> what she speaks is different. <laughs> It's funny because Clifton said not too many people get my last name right, but you did. Every time I try and read his name, I think it says Clifton Crockpot. <laughs> I think it's because I think about food all the time when I'm vaping. Yeah, Crockpot. <laughs> all three of us, man. See, that's that's why I like you two guys, man. I, <laughs> I swear, we look at pictures. You know, if anybody wants to know how we come up with recipes. We look at pictures, actually, and try to mimic, you know, even though we haven't tasted, don't even know what it would taste like, we still, you can look at a picture and get a general idea, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just try and imagine. Leave it up to your imagination. <laughs> you look at it, and it's what you want it to taste like, so. Bigfoot, that won't actually matter if you use the ounce for a gallon or that, because all it'll, it, it doesn't really hurt anything. It doesn't make it any stronger or anything like that. Because all that is basically is just a sanitizer. It's not a it's not a harsh chemical, so you don't have to worry about that. All right. Hell, I just spent freaking three hours just the other day washing bottles <laughs> out. You know, because, I mean, Bull City sent me, I'm talking... A lot of in stuff. The air in the house. Yeah, man. If y'all want eat uh flavors, man. Bull City flavors. I'm telling you, they're they're the best. Oh, yeah. They are the best. I love them. Big old orange sticker with a blue bull on it, right there on my cabinet. Yeah, I, go. I had Big the orange stickers on my cabinet too. <laughs> I, I can't put our stickers behind me. My wife would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh hell yeah, man! Shoot, we got a good some good recipes. At least I know mine is good. Uh, we actually talked about them a little bit through the week when everybody had time, you know, because busy life schedules here, there, and everywhere, you know. So, but I think we got some good recipes for everybody today. I mean, some really good ones. What y'all think? Uh, mine is just an adaptation of one of my finally Oreo ice cream recipes that I was working on ever since I started mixing. And I put a video out for it a couple weeks back and I was like, I think I could make that with creme de men. Just switch up percentages and two versions of that and I got my recipe. All right, cool. What about you, Scott? Well, mine, I come up with it because I actually like the creme de mint whipped cream pies that you buy at the stores and that. But I wanted to do a twist on it and actually make it a fudgy taste besides because of the, the cookie crust. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah and I love cream to mint, especially in the winter time. Helps with your sinuses, helps with your chest. Well, hippie knows, puts his lungs in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> if, it's too, if it's too strong, that is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a tr it's a tricky ingredient to work with. Well, I actually, I think I might surprise you with my recipe, Scott. You know how uh, that cream de mint, I use, the only cream de mint that I have is the Flavor Apprentice's cream de mint. Yeah. And thanks to Mr. Simple Vapes down here, he <laughs> loves his daggone mint vapes. And when he first started mm -hmm. mixing, and we were just talking, you know, and he got that cream to mint, and I had to get it just to see what in the world he was talking about. And it's cream to mint is not really my forte. I don't really get into the minty peppermints, spearmints, you know. Uh, but cream to mint has like this special property, like it's a chocolate peppermint almost. The TFA one. Now, what cream de mint did you use, Chrono? I actually used two. They're very the one at half percent, the one at point one, but I used Flavor and Flavor West together. Okay. 
Cool, cool. And Scott, what which screen vermint did you use? The TFA. Okay. All right. So we got two TFA recipe with cream to mint and one with flavor west and flavor. That that's gonna be interesting. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. What's up, Kevin Smith? Hell yeah. I didn't even see you sneak in there, man. Hell yeah. I mixed up uh, the peach addiction and blackberry cobbler. Hell yeah. Oh, blackberry cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> I got that too. Uh, oh, well, I'm on my, wait, wait. my last 30 mils of the 120 mil bottle I mixed up. Uh, Steve, uh, who makes a good cream de mint? Uh, well, it's just, they're all different. Uh, yeah, they are. And like my one 10 milliliter bottle of cream de mint has lasted me a year. And I just ran out making all the, I've got like, five different recipes uh, but two of them I used Australian chocolate and milk chocolate from Flavor in it to boost that chocolate in the cream de mint but it's a steeper I mean you, I've got to let them steep you know but the recipe I did today it you know it was good right off the bat it was more mint driven but as soon as it, I made it six days ago that chocolate finally i actually had to go in there and change the recipe because the chocolate overpowered the whole daggone the ice cream in mine so i actually had to lower the flavor mint chocolate down so but yeah it's good man i'm telling you i got a good one uh well who do we want to start with first uh chrono you sharing the uh recipes you want to start with uh scott's first start with uh scott's i'm i want to see i want to, I want to show something first the tfa cream de mint this bottle i have is a year and a half old and that's how much it's gone out of my bottle very little yeah it's It'll, it'll kick your nose if you go too strong. <laughs> All right. Are we ready to share the recipes? I'm ready whenever you are. All right. Here we go. Watch out. Watch out. Getting busy now. <laughs> there it is. Oh, right there. Okay. I'm going to start off with the buttercream. I use the buttercream just like when you make this at home. You're actually taking your... You cook your chocolate cook your chocolate cream cookies like Oreos. You actually crush them up and you mix the butter with it, so it actually binds it together. But the cookies and cream is kind of weak, so I actually use the fudge brownie from TPA, so it gives it the fudgy feel to it. The condensed melt that actually sweetens up your uh, your cream to mint a little bit. The liquid sweetener would be like the. A lot of people sprinkle a. Uh, candy sugar on the top of it like the red or the green for christmas and then the milk chocolate from Inuera is basically the chocolate syrup that's drizzled over the top of it and i have the vanilla whipped cream by capella because i like the taste of that whipped cream and i've used the liquid barns cream because it gives that vanilla whipped cream more of a creamy thick flavor so it's like a fresh mixed whipped cream that you mixed up yourself. And like it says down in the notes, it says it's basically a cookie crust mint pie with the vanilla whipped cream top drizzled with chocolate syrup. It's a good shake and bake, but I suggest a seven day steep because it mellows out that mint a little bit so it's not quite so strong. And that's basically about how it is because I love, I love the taste of the, the green mint. Exactly, exactly. Hey, I got a question on your recipe, though, uh, Scott. Yeah. Why did you use uh, cream from Liquid Barn instead of cream from Flavora? The cream from Liquid Barn, to me, is a, it's a heavier cream. So You know how you get the cream in a cream soda? You get that heavy feel to it? Kind of like sweet cream, then, huh? It's actually a little bit thicker than the sweet cream, even. Okay. Wow. Now, 
Sweet Cream from Flavor West and uh, TPA. I've got both of those. Those are the only sweet creams I have. And I have, they're I have both of them, too. They're thick. So yeah. that cream's a lot thicker then? And it's a lot more of a creamy feel and a taste to it. It's just like you're trying to figure out for uh, vanilla cream soda. Uh-huh. That would be the cream you would want because it gives you that heavier, real creamy feel, just like a, in the cream sodas. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. It actually makes the whipped cream seem like it's a, a thicker whipped cream, like it's heavy beat, almost like a meringue type feel to it. Okay. Uh, and the liquid sweetener from TPA, which one is that? That's just the regular liquid sweetener that we've used. Oh, oh just sweetener. Okay, yeah. why is it, it it's posted? It, ELR is changing a lot of their names on their flavors, I yeah. noticed. Uh, it's weird. It's It gets confusing to me sometimes while I'm looking at it. Well, my bottle itself that I have from Whole City actually has wrote right on it liquid sweetener. Okay, so, I've got an old bottle of sweetener. It just yeah. says sweetener on it. And then if you go to ELR itself, where it says liquid sweetener, it'll have like 300 recipes with that, where if you just put in sweetener, it has like 12. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I did that so people can actually look at ELR. If they're not used to using it, they could click on it, and then they could see what percentages people have used it at. Gotcha. Uh, <coughs> and... The only thing that I miss, I'm missing three, four, wait a minute. Yeah, four <laughs> ingredients out of your recipe. Can't call it. Ah, <laughs> seeds. Two. <laughs> now that condensed milk, that tastes just like the condensed milk that you get in a can. Three. I think okay. I'm missing well, three. I, I got perillium oh uh, white chocolate. Uh what was that? Uh, or condensed milk, I mean. Perillium condensed milk. Or yeah, I have that one too. Or either it's flavor art condensed milk. I can't remember which one I got. <clears throat> Hell yeah, that looks good, man. Uh if you could oh we're trying to figure out how to post pictures underneath our ELR. So if anybody knows what link, you know, to share pictures, you know, on yeah. ELR, let us know because the picture that Scott showed me of this flavor profile just looks out of this world. Oh, my God. If I had to guess, it'd probably be like when you post a YouTube video, you just copy the link and paste it in the notes. I've tried that and it won't let you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've tried all a bunch of kind of links, so we'll we'll get that fixed later. All right, uh, whose recipe next? Uh, you your choice, man, your choice. Uh, I think I did mine last last week, so we'll do mine next. Okay. All right. I took my Oreo ice cream again recipe and adapted it and used creme de menthe to make it a mint oreo ice cream and i basically used the same recipe i had for my oreo ice cream except i tweaked the percentages a lot that way uh the mint would stand out a little more because if i would have just took the recipe as it was and put a little bit of creme de menthe in it would have faded out it would have been way in the background so. but uh the oreo ice cream recipe was uh to get the cookie, I use Real Flavors Cookies and Cream along with Capella Sugar Cookie. That just gave the, the Oreo cookie you know, that bite that I wanted and some more sweetness. And then I used uh, Vanilla Cream Extra along with Vanilla Shisha and Liquid Barnes Vanilla Ice Cream. That was the vanilla ice cream with uh, the Oreos cream filling. Like that vanilla cream extra, that that was what I was missing for the longest time when I was trying to nail that recipe. And then to give it that minty flavor, like you, it's basically like you took Oreos, the mint ones you get around Christmas time, crumble them all up, 
and made a milkshake out of them. I used Flavoris Creme de Mint at 0.1% and Flavor West Creme de Mint at half a percent. Uh, to me, Flavor West Creme de Mint is a creamier <clears throat> Creme de Mint out of all of them that I tried and Flavoris has more of that uh, minty feel to it. So I just wanted to use the Flavor West because the creaminess of that one went really well with my ice cream recipe. And I just wanted to use the Flavora one to bump up that mintiness a little bit. So yeah, that's what we got, like 7.6% flavorings, eight ingredients. Hopefully a lot of people have these. Oh, I, I forgot to mention Flavora cream, Flavora cream. That's like my favorite cream in the world. Oh my God, me too. I love cream by Flavora. <laughs> That's just mm. that looks good, uh, really, really good, Matt. I'm telling you, uh, you're you've come a long way since you've been talking to me and Scott, and you've been mixing. You have actually came a very long way on understanding and putting flavors together. Uh, and you know, I'm just so impressed with you've only been mixing what? How long again? uh to nine months yeah hell yeah man hell yeah that looks good that looks really good and i i'm only missing the cream de mint from flavora and the cookies and cream it's the only thing i'm missing oh man if you want an oreo at all you gotta get that real flavors cookies and yeah. cream. okay all right i'll have to get that one on my next order then for real I'm, I'm slowly but surely getting more flavorings in. And I'll tell you what, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> uh -oh. There's Trippy's recipe. Oh, oh no. man. Oh, no, man. Oh, don't embarrass me. No, I'm just picking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I actually made a bottle up of this six days ago, like I said. And it's really, really, really good. But the chocolate, I had it at 0.25% milk chocolate from Flavora. And I'll show you my little Dremel bottle of it. It's dark. I had to lower that milk chocolate down because the chocolate and the cream de mint were overpowering my ice cream, okay? Now, so I lowered it, and it takes a while. Whenever you first mix this up, the first thing you will taste is that cream de mint from TPA. And you see, I upped it, Scott. I upped it to a one and three quarter percent. Okay. Yep. yep. All right. But cream de mint, I mixed up just regular cream de mint all by itself. And it loses its potency the longer it steeps. It calms yeah. down and it, it starts fading. But you still get that mint taste, but it's just not as strong. Yeah. And so I wanted an ice, a chocolate chip ice cream, really, mint ice cream. So what I did is I took the cream to mint for my mint part uh milk chocolate to deepen it and you won't taste the mint i mean the milk chocolate for like six days five three to six days for it to start coming out uh the vanilla bean ice cream from the flavor apprentice now listen everybody if you're sensitive and you get that pepper taste from vanilla bean ice cream from the flavor apprentice you can switch it and use whatever other ice cream you want you can play with this recipe. Now, if you notice down at the bottom, I got vanilla butternut from Flavor West at 0.15%. Now, you look at ELR and it'll tell you you need a lot. You know, all I wanted that vanilla butternut is to accent and brighten the vanilla bean ice cream. And that vanilla butternut has almost like a uh, a hazelnut, uh, kind of a grainy note to it. But it it's like a 
emulsifier, like a blender, and it brightens things up. So that butternut actually helps the chocolate taste like a chocolate chip in an ice cream. Okay. And the cream fresh in that recipe is giving it that more milky uh, aspect to it to lighten up, the, brighten up the vanilla ice cream, give it more depth and everything. Real simple, six ingredient recipe at seven, three quarter percent. And it is banging. I mean, it is good. I, I'll have to say. I, I, <laughs> so what y'all think about it? It looks good. It looks okay. real good. Uh, I think I'm only missing vanilla butternut. I could be wrong, but I don't have too many flavor West flavor. Well, I mean, I have probably a hundred flavor West flavors, but I think I'm missing vanilla butternut. Yeah, I got that one too. <laughs> Hell yeah. Man, I'm gonna have to order me that so I can mix this up. I can't mix up Scott's because I can't get the old formula milk chocolate from Minowera. I don't actually know if it's the old formula or not. That's just the way they have it worded on ELR. Hold uh, on. Okay. Uh, Scott, I mean, Steve054 just sent, hey guys, to put pictures on your recipe page on ELR, upload your picture to this website, and I allowed it so you can, we can check that out and see, you know. Thank you, Scott, uh, Steve, for uh, sharing that. Um, Bigfoot said, what about one-on-one? -on -one? I just, I wasn't able to see the chat because... I was watching OBS and everything, so I'm sorry about yeah. missing some of the chat. But, you want me to stop sharing the screen, Tony? Yeah, yeah, you can stop sharing right. it now. I've tried that website. I couldn't get that one to work, unless I just don't do it on the phone. Nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> Clifton's at work running a crane listening to you guys. Yep. says i love your show well thank you man oh let me go back to obs and get it back in screen and focus again see what i'm talking about gotta work on it <laughs> it'll get right here and uh on youtube here in just a second what's going on vaping <laughs> trucker working but wanted to say hi hi Vapor Trucker in the house. Hell yeah. Hey, uh, Vapor Trucker, are you going to be on uh, Pippa's show this Saturday? If I didn't have to work noon to midnight, I'd tell her I would do it. But The 5th. I'll be there January 5th. I'll be on DIY Down Under. Uh, Bigfoot, do we have a Discord? I don't even know what a Discord is. I have a Discord. It's a app you can get on your phone. Like I'm a member of the DIY or Dias Discord server. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't, you know, I don't really promote myself like most other people do because just time and stuff, you know, it's, oh man, life. Same, Same here. I just post some reviews. Yeah, that's all I do is just post what I can when I can, you know, that's it. Now, when I do, I got Bull City sent me two gift certificates to give away whenever I get to the thousand subscriber and they really hooked me up on some vape train Australia flavors and um, me and Matt are going to do reviews on the Salu Aroma, Salu Barome. Is how you pronounce it. Salub Arom from Salub Arom. Uh, from Bull City Flavors, and I've got five of them. They sent me. I still got so many more to freaking mix up. It's just oh my word, taste testing like crazy. But I'm finding so many good flavorings, Bake Train, and that Salu. Uh, that oh man. But we'll get. We'll talk about the Salu aroma on our other videos, me and um, Matt, because I don't think Scott has any of the new one of those yet. No, I don't. 
I ordered all 18 that they had on there when they first got them. I didn't have enough bottles to do all of them, but I'm testing six of them right now. I got the five I have uh, testing. And if you go to their website, you'll see it's for pod systems, the way they've got you mixing it up. So you, got, you don't put no 15% of that flavoring in there. I'm telling you, you'll be choking to your grave real quick. <laughs> and it tells oh, no. you it tells you on those flavorings that it takes 15 to 20 days steep just on single flavor you know that's a long ass time i tell so, you what though from what i'm tasting so far oh, i can't wait to review them oh me too i can't <laughs> wait man i can't wait hell yeah I'll put that one out, uh, the five that I have, Matt, and then you put out the ones that you got. How's that on your channel? Do that. that work? Yeah, that way we can uh, touch base on all of them and get a general idea, you know, of what they taste like. I'm telling you, they they surprised me, and I'm mixing all of them at one and a half percent. I tried mine at five, and let me tell you, that's Ooh. way too strong. I got to go through and chop them down a lot. Yeah. I, I, I was looking one and a half percent, but it, they do need steep. Uh, they really do. You, but I tell you what, I found one that is going to go perfect with that lemon meringue pie from Capella. Oh my God. It adds the stuff that lemon meringue pie from Capella is missing. It's called citron meringue from Salou Baron. Oh my God, that stuff. <laughs> Oh yeah, man. Let's see here. What else we got in check going on there? Yeah, uh, uh, I'm gonna be on Pippa Show uh, this Saturday with Fresh Oak Three and then Alfred Pudding, Pippa, Mary Beth, Tam Vapes. I think she might be in there too. Uh, uh, Vapor Trucker. Hell yeah, man. I, uh, Ben. Oh my God, he's a character. I like Ben. He's funny. <laughs> I haven't. Been, I've had to catch them. Uh, day, if I ever get time. Daytime Frank. On. Daytime Frank. I think is gonna be on there too. Are you gonna be on there, Daytime Frank? Uh, apparently, it's the last show for DIY for the year, and they're supposed to be like fifty, a bunch of people on the panel. So it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be fun. I think Pippa has. Oh, later, trucker. So Letter trucker man, have a good one. Oh, yeah. So what's been going on with everybody, man? What's been going on? What y'all been tasting on other than cream them out? <laughs> uh, you go first, Scott. I haven't really been tasting well. Had one, but I don't really want to say. Ah. <laughs> but, Secret secret, eh? <laughs> yeah. But mainly, another one I've been working on is uh, it's a flavor that Merlin71 off Instagram and on YouTube vapes. He likes it. It's actually a butternut, butternut, butterscotch hazelnut cream that I'm actually working on for him. I'm going to actually send it to him because they sent me an Addy stand that they built for me. I'm going to actually get it and show it, if you don't mind. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. I think it looks cool as hell. Have you seen the pictures of that stand, Matt? Yeah, I saw them on uh, Hippie Vapes Facebook group. Hell yeah, man. If y'all don't know or aren't a member, join Hippie Vapes Facebook group. But the Addy stands, though, they're custom made. You pick the wood you want. He glues them together, runs them on a lathe, put your 510 adapter in it for your Addy so you can build on them. Beautiful work art. Like I told them when I sent him a message, I just wish they would have signed the bottom of it, both of them. Yeah. That's Merlin Merlin 71 and Phoebe 64 on Instagram, or she goes by Kim Dixon on YouTube. Uh, that looks pretty sweet. Oh, Gotta yeah. get me one of them. It does, don't it? And mine's actually made out of the bird's eye maple. That is just gorgeous. Oh. Yes, hey, this this is my Addy stand. <laughs> and 
Another thing too, they also make the swivels, just like you get from wire rock swivels. They make them also. Oh, cool, cool. And they make a stand like this for your glue sticks. Cool. Hell yeah. Yeah. I've been vaping uh, in my Freemax Fire Loop, vaping my fried ice cream that Vaping Trucker threw a suggestion about. Because I said a couple videos back that I wanted uh, subscribers to my channel to try and come together with me and make suggestions. That we can make a fried ice cream together. Because I have this guy, I'm almost out of it. It's uh, fried ice cream from Fried. Oh, and I wanted to mimic that juice. And Vapor Trucker suggested using Cereal 27. Yep. So I was going to do that, but I wanted to see if any of my subscribers would suggest that. So I made that. That's what I'm vaping in there. I'm vaping my mint Oreo, the Hadley, or Hadley, Wasp Nano with the stainless steel coil in there thanks to hippie vapes <laughs> and my trusty dusty profile on my pulse 80 i'm vaping my blueberry donut i'm work i i mixed up a new recipe last night watch blueberry out yogurt bitch <laughs> 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 can't guess what's in that berry and uh yogurt drink Strawberries blueberry. and cream cheese, right? <laughs> vape, vape Train Australia's blueberry jam and Vape Train Australia's yogurt drink. Blueberry jam at 2%, yogurt drink at 2.5%. Super simple recipe. It's a great blueberry yogurt drink. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm going to have to mix that, that up, man, for real. <laughs> you can use any blueberry. I finally got the yogurt drink in. I finally actually got it. Uh, oh my god! I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm telling you, you know, I'm on a fixed income, so it takes me a while to get flavorings. I do get a few yeah, donations, but but that was a special. That, I know that for you. <laughs> I got fizzy sherbet by Vape Train Off. That stuff is kick butt. Oh my God, I, I've been missing out, everybody. Missing out. Fluffy white cake. Freaking, uh, what was that other one? Oh, that fluffy pink. white cake. Is that Wonder Flavors? Oh, uh, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, oh, fluffy man, white cake. And then I got a new one. Uh, the, I got the right buttercream frosting from Wonder Flavors. And yeah, it oh, tastes yeah. better than that oh, other one I got. But oh my word! I finally got marshmallow by Mar vanilla marshmallow by one hundred and one. Oh, oh yeah, marshmallow vanilla. That stuff. I got a recipe that this is gonna be in with some other stuff. I, I just love creams and stuff. Oh, I got tall. Oh, powdered sugar is really good too. The, see, uh, somebody I think uh, Fresh O Three was talking about. He had a, a powdered sugar in one of his recipes or something other. I was watching. Uh, he just did, uh, him and Lumi just did uh, the uh, cream to mint also uh, a couple days ago. I don't remember. I just watched it just the other day. A new subscriber. Thank you. Thank you, man. Subscribe, man. Subscribe. Give me that thousand so I can give some stuff away. <laughs> Subscribe. Heavy vapes, simple vapes, chrono vapes. Hell Makes yeah. <clears throat> Hell yeah. <laughs> Hey, I want to tell y'all something, though. Uh, I got a hold of a flavor that I've never tried before, and everybody's been talking about it online. And I was mixing all these new flavorings up. It's Pink Guava by Flavora. Now, I'm going to warn everybody right now, because <laughs> I had to learn the hard way. Don't knuckle test it. <laughs> no. Do you, not. You will be tasting grapefruit for two hours after you knuckle to I don't care. You, you'll seem like it's gone away. And all of a sudden, you'll get that grapefruit note on your, in your mouth. It's like, damn, where the hell did I wash my hands again? I'm like, did I wash my mixer all? <laughs> like, what in the hell? But, yeah, it's really good, too, but. 
I used it at a half a percent. So I don't really know. I'm letting it steep, you know. Man. <laughs> yeah, there's all these awesome flavors. Another one like that you don't want a knuckle test too is TPA Spearmint. No. No. Oh. I, I hate knuckle testing anything that's mint. Well, it smelled good in the bottle. Oh, not on the knuckle. <laughs> What's up, Foxer604, man? I didn't even see you popping in. That gone. Welcome, welcome. And thank you, thank you again. Foxer604. Oh, yeah. 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 Big dog in the house. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, man. I got to tell y'all something. I'm worried about one of my chickens. For real. My my favorite chicken out of all of them is my Rhode Island Red. She got the crap beat out of her by another chicken because they're fighting over that pecking order, and uh, or, yeah. Oreo uh, just ripped out all the feathers that will roll around the bottom of her neck, underneath. I mean, they went at it, and she ain't doing too well. I'm keeping an eye on her. I hope she don't, you know, go belly up on me. I'm praying. <laughs> I love these chickens, man. They ain't laying eggs. It's cold weather. Well, it's cold to me. It's 51 degrees is the high today. And that's cold here in Alabama. So <laughs> 51, it's like 30 here. <laughs> See, y'all used to it, though. Y'all live up in Pennsylvania. Y'all used to all that snow and stuff. Uh -uh. When it hits 50 here in Alabama, we're freezing. <laughs> right here, it's 18 degrees. Oh, my God. Oh, geez. hell no. <laughs> well, it's like I told you Friday when I was doing my breaks. It was 13 degrees here when I was doing my breaks outside because I don't have a garage. So hey. basically, oh, I got, basically, I got a walk-in freaking freezer. <laughs> hey, Matt, Matt, he, he, he was talking to me through Facebook, and uh, I said, take a deep breath, throw something, yell and scream, get it all over with. And then you'll be all right, then he? he said, I did it. Laugh out loud. I feel better now. <laughs> Laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you live up northern PA, don't you, Scott? Yeah, I live right on the borderline just before New York State. Yeah, it's, it's 35 here in Mannheim. I, I live southern end. Uh. I think Philly is like an hour and a half away from where I am. Uh, Kevin Smith says it's freezing in Scotland. Bigfoot says it's 20 there. V Dog says it's below freezing in Alberta, Canada. That right here, it's, right here it's 19 degrees. The real feel is 13. <laughs> Clifton says anything below 70, I'm cold in Houston, Texas. <laughs> That's what I like. <laughs> Another month, I'll be able to go ice fishing. Yeah, they don't know what ice is. Uh, I, I used to live up north for a few years, you know, Pennsylvania, Indiana, and, you know, beautiful country up in Pennsylvania. But yeah, I couldn't deal oh, yeah. with the snow. Now, whenever well, I was a kid, snow was awesome, but. As I got older, screw all that. Well, that's just like trucker in there, how he drives. You see all the weather. You see oh, all man. the traffic. When I drove before to one day, it was down Louisiana. It's hilarious. You go down there, you're in your truck. It's 115 degrees. You got your air conditioner on. You see these guys out working wearing Carhartt coveralls. <laughs> and this poor guy just made me sweat my ass off before I even got out of the truck and didn't want to get out of the damn truck. <laughs> <laughs> I says, what are you doing? Aren't you hot? He says, no, normally it's 140. He says, this is a cool day. <laughs> yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Come over our way. Yeah. Oh, man. 
I swear, I think this summer uh, here in Lancaster County, the high, the highest it got was maybe 95. We had two days. We had three days here in a row. It was 100, 115. Yeah, but see, y'all don't have the humidity like we do down south. The humidity is what kills you down here. Well, yeah, because you just sticky, wet. Well, then it's that Mason Dixon line or whatever. All right. Well, we, we get some humidity here, but if you go to Arizona, as Walter says off oh, just on them, it's a dry heat. Yeah, there's they have mist. I lived in Arizona, Florida. They got Mr. Machines, uh, water cooling things. And as soon as it hits your skin, it's dry. Your hand, your arm's yeah. not wet. When you, it, yeah, totally different. But here in Alabama, that humidity, it's just like Louisiana in the swamp sometimes, yeah. you know. Yeah, I don't want to be hippie in the bayou. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I, I want to go gator hunting. That's what I want to do. Hell yeah. Swamp people. Don't we, don't we have to change your name to McCluskey. Uh -huh. McCluskey. If you must Klusky. <laughs> you, remember, you remember that movie? Yeah. With Burt Reynolds? Uh-huh. Gator McCluskey. <laughs> What's up, uh, Shit Juarez? I guess that's how you say it. What's up? What's up, man? Kevin Smith in the house. Hell yeah. That's it. So what are you biffing on, Hippie? I seen you there with the velocity. Uh, I've got this one mint chocolate ice cream that's needing a steep on it. It's got a lot of ingredients. I won't share it until it's right. I'm using, like I said, Australian chocolate and mint chocolate in it and cream from Flavora and a few different ingredients. It's more complex, uh, should I say. And it's, I'm just playing with it. You know, that's what you got to do sometimes. Though. You just got to, well, that ain't going to work in this right You know, and that ain't going to, I got to lower the percentage or raise yeah. it up. It's a lot of work goes into recipes and oh, getting yeah. them tasting good. I'll try this. And it's like, oh, hell no. <laughs> Hippie can't spell. I heard that, man. <laughs> I could tell you is one recipe that I'm actually working on. It's going to be for on the show. It's actually going to be an oh. apple cranberry cake. Ooh. Well, I I got some really, really good ones. Uh, but I don't know if I want to save them for this Saturday show or not. I don't know. But it's that recipe I was telling y'all about. It's that orange spiced tea. It is so freaking good. I mean, I just had a cup of that last night, but it, it's, um, I got to lower the percentage on this one tea that I'm using because it's the orange has calmed down. I mean, this is a month steep on this one right now, a month steep even. <laughs> and I've got like four different recipes of this one, trying to see which one is going to be the best, but letting it steep for a long time, you know? Yeah. But yeah, uh, so I really want to save that one. Um, I'm vaping on uh, that juice mat that you sent me. Uh, that uh, the mango juicy fruity whatever. And you know, I'm I'm the kind of person that can't afford to go to the store and buy e juices or that's the truth. or <laughs> go online and buy e juices. Like the Adore e-liquids, Living in Ecstasy, and this Hybrid Reserve, uh, I won from Black Cat Whiteface off of his show. Uh, I picked the right number, and I won it, and a couple of his alien coils, which I have learned how to build myself now, but they're hard. Uh, so I don't have a chance, I don't have the money to buy these juices, and I could tell right off the bat, it's sweet. I mean, yeah. my God, is it sweet. Yeah, I didn't really like that one too much. It's not bad if you're vaping it on. See, me and you and Scott are going to get together and do a show on coal building and talk about coals. And it all depends on what device you're using then also. 
Yeah. Hell yeah. Ah, my cool. <laughs> I got him. All right. I can't wait. I just got to get a block of wood and bolt down them swivels. Hell yeah. <laughs> Make yourself a stand like I did in my one video. Was, yeah, all that Hadley, this juice. I mean, it's so it's not bad really at all. It's not bad in the Hadley, but and the nicotine it says three milligram nicotine. That it is not three milligram to me. It doesn't even taste that daggone strong. The nicotine in this. Yeah. Uh, and my nicotine, uh, actually at one milligram tastes just like this at three milligram. I have a bottle like that too that's six mil. So I tried mixing one of my batches at six mil. Oh, hell no. <laughs> no, sir. I don't go higher than three. That's what I do is three. Although New Year's is coming up. My New Year's resolution last year, well, this year was quitting smoking. And this year I'm going to go to one and a half percent nicotine. Hey, well, uh, check it out, Matt. Uh, you, you won't know, you won't miss it. You won't even notice it. Just do one milligram for real. Just one. You, it, it, you might vape a little more right when you start dropping down on your nicotine. You'll vape a little bit more, but once you, after a week, you won't even miss it. I'm telling you, you won't. Catch you later, Steve. Have a good day. Later, Steve, man. Later on, Steve. Yeah, he's got to concentrate driving that crane. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, have the gremlins got into your shop there, man, and took over your machines? <laughs> yeah, I think this is the next recipe I'm going to release, straw melons. It needs the steep, though, because of that one ingredient I got in there. There you go. Hell yeah. But it finally went in the background like I wanted it to, mellowed out a lot. Black cat, white face, it's in the house. Oh my God! The, How's it going, Scott? The greatest coal What's builder in the universe. In the universe, man, is in the house. The greatest coal builder in the universe. Hell yeah! Good to see you. <laughs> I just wish I wasn't on second shift so I could catch his shows. Man, I love. I ain't had time to watch like for a week or two because I've been so busy. With Christmas and uh, running and everything, I'm the only one in the family with a van now, so I've got to do the running for everybody. In the family, you know, so I'm like so daggone busy. You know, <laughs> he's the greatest builder. I want to see him do a uh, Mohawk Suka. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> man. hey, uh, Black Cat, I ordered me some more of that daggone square wire, that point three square wire. I love that stuff, and I'm finally getting good at the aliens. I've just noticed that on the finer gauge wires on aliens, the coils don't last as long. Uh, the outer, they, like a month, and it's like they stop losing their flavor, and, you know, I don't know. It just must be the Nikon 80 and the finer gauge wires, and I clean them. You know, real gingerly, and well, that's why he keeps them uh, builders under his desk, so that way they just keep building the coils for him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But hey, I'm telling you, that square wire ain't cheap. It's like uh, seven or eight dollars for twenty five foot, and every four core alien you build with the thirty six gauge Nichrome eighty wrap, you're using. If you're making a foot stick, you're using four foot of wire. You know, for to do a yeah. four core alien, you see what I'm saying? That's four foot of wire just to do a a nine or twelve inch stick. Yep. And it's best if you're just learning to do aliens. Start out slow and simple with like a three core, uh, and only do enough to make one coil, which is like about five inch stick. 
That way you can go real slow and you won't mess up. And just patience is the key. Patience. Yeah, them more intricate builds ain't for, it's hard for somebody on a budget. Yeah, it, it really is. You're on a budget. You've never tried a coil before. You're afraid to try and build it because then you're going to mess up with 14 feet of wire. It's like, shit. <laughs> Trust me, I've messed up so much wire, but practice makes perfect. Just only do like short pieces, enough to do one coil. And, you know, once you get that one coil stretched down, then you can make a stick that, you know, you can have two coils, which is about average, about nine inches to do two coils. But yeah, I learned all that from Black Cat White Face doing those. Uh, I'm, I'm having trouble. I got that. I got to get some ribbon wire because my sliders, it's making them want to, my wires want to fold over like that instead of staying flat. Uh, and so I, that's why I sent you those magnets. I'm uh, trying that too uh, just to see, you know, hey, it doesn't hurt to try something, you know. Right. Make it a little easier. Uh, I even got these little bitty old uh, clothes pins. pins, little tiny ass clothes pins, and you put the four wires. Tiny. Yeah. That's, yeah. For the, that's for them mini roaches. <laughs> <laughs> mini roaches. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, so you said you were going to try uh, the Legos too. Have you been able to find any? They didn't work out as well as I thought. Well, I did uh, buy generic from Dollar Tree Legos yeah, yeah. in a bag. They well, didn't. you don't. Well, you don't want to go spend thirty dollars for a kit of Legos to use two. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, I had uh, three along my stick, you yeah. know. But yeah, like Black Cat does do the ribbon wrapping it around and flattening it with uh, uh with these kind of pliers, you know. Yeah. I gotta get me yeah. a pair of them. These yeah, oh my god. Uh I got them off of eBay for like seven bucks, I think it was. Uh and I'm telling you, I've noticed a big difference. A big difference. You can just take that and run it straight and flatten your coal all the way down your stick. My mother-in-law was going to pick me up a pair of them a couple of weeks ago. I told her what I wanted. She comes back. Do you ever see them wide-ass freaking metal-jawed flat pliers for freaking folding tin? That's what the guy gave her at the hobby shop. He says, this is what he wants. <laughs> okay. Later, I bought out a pair of pliers I got. I said, do they look like these? <laughs> <laughs> It kind of reminded me of that commercial on TV where the guy's in the hardware store and he asked the guy that works there, Dremel? No, David. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Oh, man. Bigfoot said that uh, Joanne got him. I'm guessing yeah, he means Joanne Fabrics. Yeah. We got Joanne Fabrics here in Alabama. Yeah, I just got to get time to get up there with the wife the way she is. It's just hard. And we got Hancock fabrics down south here. Hancock. Yeah. We used to have one of them up here. They went out of business. We have a bunch of them. Yep. Michaels. I got a Michaels up here. You got AC Moore oh, up here. Hobby yeah, Lobby. We got Hobby Lobby. Yeah. yeah. A lot of them. Well, they closed down a lot here in Alabama. Well, Montgomery. Uh, all we really got now is Hobby Lobby and Michaels for like craft stores now um but i don't go shopping too much in them unless i find most of myself wally world or you know dollar tree because i'm cheap as hell yeah you know? <laughs> me too well i know i know walmart walmart sells them too she was at the department michaels and hobby lobby okay tam hell yeah okay I have to check them out. I don't know. Flat bobby pins, Fox said. Flat bobby pin. Hmm. Yeah, so they snipped it. They clipped together on the wire and they won't move. Right. 
but you got to be able to slide it, you know, while you're wrapping, you got to be able to slide it easy down your stick, you know, while you're wrapping. Now, now Nick Devine, he uses a type of bobby pin. You've probably seen them around, Tony Doug. Ones that they look like a barrette, but they're metal and they snap together. It's two pieces of flat metal. Yeah. So, that's what Nick uses. Nick used them on his videos. Really? I, I must yeah. have missed that one then. Yeah, I watched that on the one video and he was actually I think he was actually doing aliens when he used them. Yeah, I watched out out Bigfoot, new subscriber. Oh Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh hey Matt, I want uh if you want to teach your buddies, uh your friend and that stuff that I see every once in a while over there. Uh, uh about the ohms law and everything watch battery mooch yep battery mooch yeah, i watch battery mooch for like what batteries to buy and his battery reviews right and like i said them vct 5a's sony vct 5a's man that I, and i i got all i got the vct 6s and they're you can tell they're not like the other ones But we'll do a video, I guess all three of us, and we'll actually do some coil building and show little tricks of the trade, you know, later yeah. on another episode or something. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. But uh, I don't even know. What do you think, guys? What should we do? Just come up with just any old, we got a couple more Christmas time uh, vapes to come out with. Uh or Christmas desserts, or just anything, something, just something Christmassy. I guess we'll keep it secret until you know the day of the show, like we've been doing. Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> that that's what I like doing that because uh, it's like, damn man, <laughs> it's like Christmas time. I get to see a present, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, shoot. I don't know, well, man. some tricks. Hell yeah. So well, I just want to thank everybody for showing up and saying hey and joining in the chat and everything. Uh, man, I had a blast, guys. This was fun. I, I love doing these live shows like this. It, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really, really cool doing these. And it, it's getting out to a wider audience now and everything, too. Uh, even though I'm goofy as hell in my video recipes that I put out every once in a while, I act goofy. I can be goofy as hell now. Did y'all see that Hippie Claws song? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, there's one for you. There's one for you. If your Bigfoot wants mixed drinks for the first of the year. Oh, man. See, that's what, like not all What matter. kind of mixed drink you want? I got 13 different flavors of mixed drink up there. I could go kind of goofy. I could do an Irish cream fuzzy navel. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Yeah. Shoot, yeah, that might need a steep dose so, of, yeah. Be yeah, till next next year. Yeah, till next year. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Like, Hell yeah, next year, man. I'll be it next year. Yeah. I'll drop one of my favorites. Oh, yeah, man. So it's going to be interesting. Y'all stay tuned for the next video. Don't forget, subscribe to Simple Vapes on YouTube. Subscribe to Chrono Vapes on YouTube. And subscribe to Yippie Vapes on YouTube. Yep. Uh, spread the word about us, guys. I'm telling you, spread the word, everybody. The Juicy Crew. Hell yeah. Christmas <laughs> Eve Truffle. Ooh. I'll have to I'll have to look that one up. A truffle. That sounds good. I got a truffle flavor. I forgot what what it was. No, does he mean truffle or does he mean triple? Or a trifle rather. Oh yeah, there is a difference on that. A trifle and a truffle. Yeah. Truffle. Yeah. No, a truffle. And for all you people. Not truffle. Out, out truffle. There, 
out there vaping no. on McMod, a little parallel coil on it just works just fine. Just a parallel 26 gauge Nichrome 80 works just perfect, man. It owns out about a 0.3 and it hits like crazy. It's like in my dream where I got a set of uh, aliens that Kim Dixon sent me. These things here are amazing too. I've never tried them before. <laughs> I get great flavor out of them. Not truffle, trifle. <laughs> Foxes at cake, whipped cream, custard, a few other things. That gone, that sounds good already. <laughs> that's something right up all three of our alleys. I know that's right. I love my creams and stuff like that and custards for sure. But it's gotta have berries. See, I'm a I'm a berry freak. That's you know. Oh, me too. Be fruit, fruits <laughs> yeah. and berries, cheesecakes, creams, oh. custards. Oh. Well, that's like today, like I was telling you earlier, I was watching the one video earlier with uh, Freddie that's on the resistance crew. He was doing a video on taking pictures of your coils. I asked everybody what they were vaping on. I told him about this mint Christmas pie. He says, holy Christ, you're vaping on a whole dessert? <laughs> He goes, where'd you get that? I says, I mixed it up myself. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. I'll tell you what, both y'all have come so far along in mixing. It's unreal how quick y'all caught on. And you got to get that peach, Tony. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm working on it, man. I'm working on it. I want to get the uh, concentrate instead of the uh, pre-mix. I want to get the... Uh, the one shot, you know, yeah, pure peach because I love peaches, and I just got another peach in. Matter of fact, that and another pineapple that just freaking blew my mind. Oh my god, I think I and plus, I think I found my white whale. I found my freaking white whale. Oh. I gotta hop off for a second. The wife is hollering. Well, we fix it. Go ahead and close, Scott. Um. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and call it, uh, it's about 12.06 my time now, so we've been on for about an hour. I was going to go yeah. ahead and close it and thank everybody again, definitely, right. and we'll do this again next week for sure. Next week. Next week. Hell yeah. Same <laughs> time, same place. <laughs> yep. So... Everybody, y'all have a good one and everything. Keep mixing. Stay off them stinky ass cigarettes. We'll guide you. And there's plenty of reviewers out there. Fresh O3, DIY Down Under, Daytime Fry. I'm talking so many mixers out there. Just go do some research. Am I right, guys? Exactly. Research, research, research. Research. I got to take off in case she has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll holler Thanks at everybody for... later. Later. Thanks Peace, for watching. Love and harmony, harmony. everybody.